My name is uh, Bri. I am a current junior at NYU studying um, journalism and social cultural analysis, specifically in the Department of Asian Pacific American Studies. Um, I've been with The Love Story for a year as a journal artist. And basically that means I'm writing journal entries about my personal experiences, uh, well, fictionalized versions of my personal experiences with um, mental health and adjacent struggles. That also means that um, I'm a mentor for people who are just beginning the Love Stories journaling program. Um, I'm an editor and I'm someone who hosts weekly journaling sessions. I would definitely say the Love Story helped me recenter myself as a writer. Um, you know, I, I was 17 years old when I was uh, when I was entering college. I didn't know what I wanted to do at all with my life yet. Um, and so I spent a year in computer science, which is so far from like who I am as a person and what I'm passionate about. Um, and I think the love story really helped me reground myself and pursuing my passions instead of what I thought could make me money. Who's always kind of wrestled with my mental health, um, the fact that I'm not neurotypical. Um, I'm not formally diagnosed with everything that I have symptoms of, if that makes sense, but I definitely do struggle with depression and anxiety, among other things. And for me, journaling is just, it is the, maybe not the best, but it's definitely like the first line of defense, I guess. For me, when it comes to coping with trauma, um, it is the easiest, simplest, most self-sufficient form of therapy. Um, and I think it's important as not only a way for you to cope with your own traumas, but when people read um, that other people share the same experiences as them, it definitely helps other people cope with their own traumas. And I think that if everyone were to write and expel their trauma and um, pain in the way that we do here at the love story the world would be a better place so i think it really just helps everyone it it, it brings people together i think journaling brings people together i think art brings people together. a lot of the people who come to our journaling workshops are older people um people who were always interested in writing or were interested in writing when they were younger or um, do writing as a hobby. Some Most aren't published authors, but those who I, I've spoken to who are published are self-published. Um, and they, a lot of people joined the workshop because they were like, this seems fun. And I've always been interested in writing. They joined and then they realized, like they rediscovered writing, I guess. What being a journal artist workshop host really means is you are helping people rediscover or discover a new aspect of writing um and it's just amazing to to like kind of streamline this process that I personally mm -hmm. went over went through over the course of like a year and three months I think it is now um it like people go through that journey that I went through in a year and three months in an hour an hour and a half um they realize that like this is truly like writing is no joke. It is something you can do to cope with trauma just as much as going to therapy is, just as much as taking medication is. Um, and as Minji always says, it's no, it's in no, no means a substitute for either of those things, but it is not something that can be replaced by either of those things either. Um, I think I realized that all it really is is looking at yourself and acknowledging that like every other person you have bad parts um, but every other person also has bad parts like you and having bad parts doesn't make you a bad person not that there's any such thing as a bad person i think what shadow work i don't know if it taught me this but work doing shadow work really ingrained into me that like we are all people made up, of, made up of flaws, just as much as we are all people made up of strengths. I mean, I've had people cry to me about how they've never felt so free to talk about these struggles to other people. They, like, it's just a whole different experience writing in a workshop versus going to therapy versus even writing by yourself. Um, because you're not in a place where people are there to judge you or diagnose you or even fix you. 
we're literally just there to listen. Literally just there to listen. Why are you procrastinating writing? Like, it took me so long to get in like my first 10 journal entries. I don't know why. I was just like, I don't have time for this. Um, because I was coping with um, so much. I was I was going through a lot of issues at the time. Um, I had gotten dumped for the first time. My first ever real heartbreak. It was um, right before I ended up in the psych ward. Um, it was right before I ever saw a therapist for the first time. So there was just a lot happening in my life. And I was like, I don't have time with everything happening in the journal. When it really should have been the opposite. Um, I think if I had looked at the love story as um, as a way of healing instead of as an internship, which is all I thought of it as, as the time. at the time. Um, I could have gained a lot and honestly prevented, or not prevented necessarily, but I could have healed from a lot of heartbreak a whole lot faster. So I wish I could tell myself not necessarily to take it more seriously, but to really appreciate it more. Um, and invest time in it because once I did start investing time with it, there was like a million returns. Um, yeah, and not to think of the love story as like an internship also, but like as a community really, because that's what it is. Like I've met so many amazing people through the love story. Um, and honestly, Mingji tries her best to like keep pressure off of us and everything like that. She really wants everyone involved in the love story to see it as a way to heal. Um, because that's, you know, what makes it so special and so unique. And I wish I could have communicated that to myself. So if you join or if you decide to attend a workshop and you're sitting through this and you're like, this seems like, this doesn't seem legit. Like give it, give it at least the entirety of the workshop. Come back two or three more times. If you're a new intern, give it until act two. But like just trust the process and I promise there is something there. There is something really, really bold in there. Even if you don't agree with all of it, even if it's not the most perfect thing for you, there's just something so special to be found with this program. There's something so special to be found with um, Mingji herself. Like, it's just a wonderful, wonderful place. It's a wonderful environment. And if you don't like it and it's not for you, you don't have to stay, but I can promise it'll affect you for the better.